In this video, we're gonna be covering an overview of good Amazon PPC strategy, what I consider fundamentals that every Amazon marketer should know and be aware of. I want you to consider the millions of search terms that are searched per hour on Amazon. And I want you to think of these two metrics. On the left, we have all the terms that are gonna be searched for your products versus the terms that you will find using any keyword research tool. Now, which one of these is bigger? Keep this in mind before you answer. You can never predict all the searches. In fact, Google comes out every few years and says something along the lines of this. Every single month, about 10 to 15% of searches are brand new and never searched before, which means that you could assume that about 10% of all searches that are gonna be searched for your product have never been searched before. Let's look at an example to really understand this. Let's say I'm selling this jump rope and I were to think of all the terms and use a keyword research tool to find all the terms that I think people could search. I might get jump rope, black jump rope, durable jump rope. What about somebody that lives in North Dakota and it's very cold there and they search for things that I could have never possibly predicted like jump rope for cold weather turquoise jump rope, high quality turquoise jump rope for cold weather. While these might be rare, when you take into account all the things that I could never ever predict, it ends up being quite a lot. So this is why Amazon has something called an auto campaign, where the goal of an auto campaign is really designed to be inexpensive, but cast a very, very wide net. And this is really the ethos behind great PPC advertising, pay-per-click advertising, because we're trying to cast a wide net, trying to find all the things that anyone can search for a product, and then we wanna amplify what works well. So when you first open up an Amazon account, you have lots of different ads that you could select from. The one that you should begin with most often is an automatic targeting sponsored product campaign. So an automatic campaign, as they're sometimes referred to, has some pros associated with it. Amazon will do all the, all the hard work of find winning terms, and it'll go out there and it'll find things that are going to convert well for you, because Amazon is incentivized to display a product for things that get clicks and convert, and you get to tap into the millions of searches per hour. Now, there's a big con to that because you're gonna to have to pay the same bid for all of the terms. You, you know, that's one bid, and then you, all of a sudden you show up for thousands of different searches. And also, some terms just aren't going to be winners. So some keywords just simply are not going to be winners. So we need to get rid of certain things. So here at AdBadger, we really advocate something called RPSB. It stands for Research, Peel, Stick, and Block. And what Research, Peel, Stick, and Block does is it really lays the groundwork for pretty much any strategy you would read out there on the internet. It's essentially the key to get more clicks, more sales at a better target. So again, RPSB stands for research, peel, stick, and block. Now the research phase is going to be your sponsored product auto campaign. This is called referred to as research because you're not really deciding what to appear for, you're telling Amazon, hey, I'd like to appear for things related to this. So it's gonna go out there and find all different kinds of searches, display for all different kinds of products that it believes is relevant to your product. And this is the research phase. So we're gonna appear for a wide variety of things. Some are gonna be great winners, some are gonna be things that need to get stopped. Now, as the data rolls in, you'll wanna ev evaluate what you appeared for. And now on Amazon, that's called your search terms. And don't worry, you're not gonna have to go into Amazon to do this because you're using AdBadger. But quite simply, you would go and eventually look at the things that you appear for. So if I'm selling that jump rope, I may notice that my conversion rate for, you know, when I appeared for this ASIN was 50%. And when somebody searched SR1 rope, it was 100%. So then what I wanna do is I'll want to block the things that didn't convert, because I have a lot of things that just aren't getting good conversions, like boxing set adult, I'm selling a jump rope. I don't want to appear for that. And you know, Everlast heavy bag gloves, I don't want to appear for that because I'm selling a jump rope. So what you'll eventually do, and you'll do this with that Badger, is you'll want to block the things that are irrelevant and unprofitable, 
and then you want to peel out, you want to find those profitable terms. So Amazon will tell you what you appeared for. It will show you what was good and what was bad. And then AdBadger will help you amplify the winners and get rid of the losers. So we sort of find the winning terms and think of like you're moving a post-it note. You're peeling it out from the auto and then you're sticking it into a manual campaign. Now again, this is a manual sponsored product campaign and AdBadger will help you with a lot of this. So you're peeling it out from converting in the auto and you're sticking it into that manual targeting. So you're peeling and sticking it. So we did our research in our research campaign, the automatic targeting campaign, and then we peel out the term that converts well and we stick it into a manual. And the reason why we do this is because we get to advertise more aggressively on the SR1 rope because all of a sudden we will be able to bid more aggressively on it, get more clicks for this particular keyword and allow us to get a, the return that we want because we'll be able to fine tune a bid for this particular keyword. So the whole process of starting with something that's more broad and more general, like an automatic targeting campaign, and then moving it to an exact match is exactly the kind of flow that we wanna be thinking about. Now, how do we stop it from appearing in my automatic targeting campaign? Well, Amazon has something called negative keywords. And what negative keywords will allow us to do is it'll allow us to block the winning term from triggering in the auto. Now there's lots of reasons to do this. And the biggest one is because you'll know where your traffic is flowing. You'll be able to know that, hey, when SR1 rope in this case gets searched, it's gonna trigger my SR1 rope keyword. So to recap, an auto campaign finds you lots of different terms, and then you peel and stick out the best terms. You peel them out of the auto and you add them to the manual exact match uh, as a, you know, you peel that into your manual campaign as a manual exact match keyword. Now, don't worry, over the coming videos, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this inside AdBadger, because we really simplify it. The goal of this video is to really illustrate the point that there are research-based ads and there are sort of exact ads. So what I mean by this is research-based ads include things like automatic targeting. That's where you're gonna be showing up for a wide variety of searches and getting uh, impressed on a lot of different products. There's broad match. That's where you type in a keyword and you show up for a wide variety of things. There's phrase match. That's where you show up for phrases related to your keyword. There's category targeting, there's brand targeting. So there's all different kinds of targeting where you're going broad, you're casting a wide net. And then what you wanna do, you wanna look at what you appeared for and then graduate those searches to an exact match or an ASIN targeting. So the exact search that somebody searched to buy your product or the exact product that you were listed on once before somebody bought your product. And what this allows you to do it allows you to maximize your visibility on those best converting terms. So at the very least, you should have an automatic campaign, which you then stick into the exact match, all those high converting terms, and of course, an ASIN targeting campaign. You can also have a broad phrase campaign too. So if you're wondering about a basic campaign structure per product, uh, and you have you know under, 50 products, this is a fairly good basic campaign structure. So per ASIN, you really can have a campaign that looks, that in an account that looks like this. You have your product in an auto campaign, which is doing lots of research. And then you have your product in a broad phrase campaign, which is also doing research. It's a little tighter, but you're still doing research in a broad phrase way. For those that don't know, basically what broad and phrase are, let's say I'm bidding on running shoes, uh, essentially, phrase match running shoes I can only appear for any search with the word running shoes in it. So men's running shoes I could appear for. I can also appear for women's running shoes. Uh, broad match would be where, you know, the word running or the word shoes can be in the search in any order. So I could appear for running on a trail shoes in a broad match, for example. So if you want to set up your campaigns to cast the widest net and amplify the best terms, you'll have these auto campaigns and a broad phrase sponsored product campaign. And then anything that ends up converting and doing well, we will move into an exact match if it's a keyword, or we'll move into an ASIN targeting campaign 
if it wasn't async. And don't worry, if this is new to you, I will walk you through how exactly to do this inside AdBadger. Then we're going to want to go a little extra further and then block it from appearing in our source campaign. And again, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So don't worry. For right now, it's really that general process of research, peel, stick, and block. We do the research in the research campaigns, which we call, which is which are the automatic targeting and broad and phrase targeting. Uh, and then we go ahead and graduate those terms, we move them up, we peel them out of the research and we stick them into an exact match or product targeting, allowing us to maximize our results. So don't worry, I'll show you exactly how this works.